I've been a teacher and so the idea of education is something that's really close to my heart and was looking for a way to re-engage. I'd, I'd been out of education for a while but then due to jobs that I took on at the time wasn't able to get into it. So it's, it's always been something that I've been aware of. Uh, a friend uh, was a business partner and that uh, sort of reintroduced me to just the opportunities and what it can do um, and, and excited me. So in, uh, where are we? It would have been, I think, 2016. I was at a, a workshop um, at SACAP that Louise was uh, speaking about, Partners for Possibility. And I said, here am I. I want to get involved. And being Louise, she said, well, I think it'd be good. You, I was keen to be a, a, like a learning process facilitator. And she said, you know, the best route is really to be a business partner first. So um, in 2017, I took up that uh, opportunity and, uh, and started with PFP as a business partner. And that's what I've really been excited about. Uh, once I had said that I was keen to be a business partner, then I was um, introduced to Sherry by uh, Paul Abrams, who was going to be our learning process facilitator. Went out, we met together at Cornflower Primary, and it felt like it just took off from the beginning. I, I have vivid memories of that first meeting, and uh, Sherry being very emotional, just out of the sense of, this was amazing, this is what she'd been longing for, and it just seemed like the fit was, was perfect from the start. I'd worked in school similar to that before, um, but I think just the, the number of learners uh, in, you know, fairly basic um, sort of resources. Uh, but but then I remember walking in the courtyard outside and just being sort of hit by this wave of learners. And, and then with regard to Sherry, I think it was, it just felt like, she was very vulnerable from our first meeting and I thought this is someone I can connect with um, and and that excited me. She was very honest in the sense of the challenges that she was facing and just how she was feeling personally and was actually tearful um, uh, just at the, the sort of almost the relief of this opportunity to have someone come alongside her and and walk the road with her uh, and so I think that honesty and openness is what really drew me to her. Uh, so there was a high level of conflict within the school management team and I was very aware that uh, coming in and running a few workshops wasn't necessarily going to be the solution but having discussed it with Sherry and with the two deputies it was agreed you know we should do this and so it was with a sense of apprehension that I went into it because I thought, hmm, here comes, you know, Paul the Whitey and uh, how's this going to go down? And on the one hand, there was a sense of recognizing people were wanting to engage and that encouraged me. But, but people were wanting to actually deal with the conflict head on. And I was coming in more with a kind of team building approach and and that wasn't where they were at. I knew that it wasn't about me coming with the solution uh, but it was quite a vivid uh, wake up to actually that was the reality. I didn't have the solution and and what was exciting I think that was a catalyst for then what continued after that where Sherry actually became the person that led a workshop, you know, open workshop with the staff where issues were dealt with and she was incredibly courageous um, and it was more about me walking alongside her than about me coming in and facilitating a process. You know, it wasn't quite such a shock but it was still humbling uh, and, and even though I'm a skilled facilitator and all of that, recognizing that wasn't what was needed. Uh, and so, you know, I had to... It, it wasn't, as I said, that I had to sort of acknowledge that, but I think it was good. It really just grounded that reality for me, that 
my primary role was going to be walking alongside Sherry, supporting her. If there was something where I could be involved more directly, fine. But that wasn't the primary focus. What I, what I liked about the workshops is they were very experiential and, um, and practical. And so I could engage with what was coming out. I think of the time to think and listening, which is something very important in my role as a coach, which is my work. Uh, but it, it was great doing it with Sherry and in a sense um, then being able to in our times together to say, OK, let's put this into practice. Uh, and so that's, that's what I valued about the workshops, uh, having very practical things that we could then build into our partnership. So we would, for example, in, when we met together, we would often do the, the thinking partnership where we just have time for each of us to think. Sherry always felt a bit bad because she usually had more time than I did because, uh, you know, she needed it. Um, but, but we were able to, to take that and practice it. Um, something like the recontracting coming out of Flawless Consulting. Uh, and and it, after... The conflict resolution workshop um, that I'd helped to facilitate, it, it also was quite tricky because it, it changed the dynamic between Sherry and me because now it was not me being her partner but me being the sort of facilitator of the school management team. And that was quite uncomfortable. I think uh, there was a sense in which, you know, am I on Sherry's side or aren't I? Uh, and so, we, you know, we, we were able to express that and, and had to sort of talk it through and in a sense recontract and say, I'm primarily here for you. Uh, and, and it was useful having those sort of tools that the workshop provided. The learning, what, what I really valued was working with people from different backgrounds and so not only with Sherry and our partnership but also through our community of practice um, and and particularly with principals uh, you know I've, I've been a teacher I've worked in education but really coming to value the role that principals are playing and it's not as if every principal is playing that obviously there's some who aren't but meeting and engaging with principals who are facing huge challenges and are really making a difference. Um, and so the learning for me was, I suppose, about there not being one story about education and even about so-called black education, um, you know, that township schools are like this, uh, but realizing that people who are really looking to make a difference and who are impacting their communities. Um, often struggling, but, but longing to and doing the best that they can. Uh, so I think that, that sense of there being more than one story was a powerful learning. So Partners for Possibility to me is a leadership program for the principal and for the business partner. And within that there's a whole range of different experiences. But it's far more than that. It's, it's an opportunity to become an active citizen in South Africa. And, and for me, it's not just about being active, but it's the hope that I began and have experienced through my involvement. There's, there's a lot that gets me down about South Africa. But through engaging with Sherry, through engaging with other members of our community of practice, it really gave me hope and a sense of belonging uh, that I have a role to play in South Africa. PFP equips principals to make a difference in their schools. Uh, and that will vary depending on, on different partnerships. But I think the sense of principals feeling empowered and, and the impact that has on the school management team um, is very tangible uh, and sometimes it'll involve resources uh, being you know given to the school that's a, a smaller part but often very appreciated and then over time you know more beyond the first year usually 
seeing the impact on the community, on parents, on learners, um, that's, that's exciting. But often that takes a bit longer where partnerships have continued together. Like, like many principals, Sherry was lonely. Uh, being a principal is an incredibly lonely job. Um, you, you know, you, you're leading a school, you're accountable to staff, to parents, you're accountable to a circuit manager, to a department, but there's no one really alongside you. And what I was able to do and continue to do is literally just to be alongside her, to be a sounding board. At times that was quite personal and her just sharing, you know, how she's feeling. Um, sometimes it was around providing a space for her to think about what to do with certain situations or with a school management team. Um, but it was, it was a, a wonderful space just to, to be able to listen, to be able to support and for her to feel that I've got her back. You know, she said to me, I can't remember her exact words, but something after our first year towards the end, she said something like, I found part of my life that I thought I'd lost. And it was just through that walking alongside and listening and supporting. Um, and that, you know, was incredible, very humbling for me, uh, hearing that from her. Um, and, and as I say, it inspires me to continue partnering with her.